Welcome back to my channel Data BI SQL. Uh, so in today's video, right, uh, we will cover the part 36 of Amazon interview questions. And uh, today's question, right, is a little bit tricky. I would say this is some kind of, a, I would say the advanced level question. This kind of questions can be asked mostly in the loop. Uh, it could be asked in the beginning round as well um, for senior BIE or senior data engineer or data architect positions. Uh, uh, because this is little, little tricky as in, you know, you need to know certain functions. You need to know, like, uh, do we do, you need to understand the data. You need to uh, look at the filter condition properly, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll go through that, uh, right? So let's, let's get to the question. Uh, so the today's question is display the top applicants for each job who are offered the highest salary. Okay. So. If you see the jobs underscore salary underscore dim table, which I've covered in my other videos as well. Uh, so over here, what they're asking is for each job, right? Each job means job ID, 10, 20, 30, 40, okay, and 50. There are five different job IDs. Asking display the top applicants for each job. Okay, the top applicants who have received, who were offered highest salary. So they are saying top applicant based on what? Top applicant uh, could be based on lowest salary also, okay? But they are saying top applicants uh, who are offered the highest salary, right? So if you see, for example, job number 10, uh, over here, uh, there are basically, uh, there are seven rows, right? So if you see the highest salary that is offered is 130,000. So there's only one salary that is highest salary, right? Um, so the one question that comes into mind is uh, the all the candidates who are offered the salary, right, uh, has the same salary, right? So do, do, should they appear in the in the results? Output, yes, right? I mean, because they were all offered highest salary, like one salary, and that is the highest salary. So it should appear, right? I mean, we cannot exclude somebody based on like just order, right? They all need to appear. So that's one part, right? Uh, the second part, uh, the second part is like 20, if you see the job 20, right? So if you see here, uh, here for job 20 also is 140. Okay. So again, all need to come for 30. If you see it is 130 and 150, right. And null. Okay. Uh, why I'm highlighting null is, uh, it's a pretty important, uh, uh, basically, uh, a consideration here. Okay. Uh, because I, I I'll show you what happens if you exclude one of the, one of the filter condition, right? So if you see 30, you have 150, 130 and null. Okay. Um, so 150 is definitely the highest one, right? So only the, then there's only one guy with 150 or how many there are two guys. Okay. There are two guys with 150. So basically 315 and 313 applicants should come, right? So basically for each job ID, you need to have a, a highest salary offered, right? So, uh, again, like if you have seen my videos, other videos, I say that structure your query in your mind, break it down into different parts, like select clause where clause, filter clause, do you need any functions, right? So over here, definitely uh, they are asking you to, you know, uh, the, the the division has to happen by job ID and applicant ID, right? Because each job you need to find out the highest applicant, right? So you need to have a group by, uh, right? Uh, on that particular piece, okay? Um, so if you look at the, if you look at the query, right? And uh, uh, one other, clear consideration is they said who received were offered the highest salary, right? So you need to put a filter on offer received is equal to yes. Okay. Uh, what that will do, it is very important. Okay. What that will do is it will eliminate the other candidates who did not receive the salary. So if you see the candidates who did not receive an offer, sorry, not salary, but who did not receive the offer, their salary offered is null. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll show you the significance of null, you know, uh, so that uh, when we when we uh, come at the end of the query, I'll show you what happens if you exclude this yes condition. Okay, but for now, let's let's keep this yes condition. Okay, over here also. Okay, so what you need to do is first of all you need to find out the highest um, the salary offer, right? So when it comes to highest, you all you should immediately click in mind that you should do, use a function rank function. Okay, you can use rank and you can use dense rank. Either of them is okay in this case. When it when say they, they say top three, that time you need to use dense rank. But in this case, it's just top candidate. So that's why you can just use uh, you can just use the the dense rank or or even rank will suffice in this case. 
but i am using the dense rank just to be safer if you always want to be safe just use dense rank okay uh, so here if you see what i have done is i have written a sub query right so this is con uh, covering the concept of sub query also that's why i feel it is intermediate to advanced level question because sub query then within that you have to write function right so it makes it like little bit of intermediate to advanced level question and not a basic question okay so let's let's look at the inner sub query first and then we will come to the outer query so select job id applicant id salary offered okay these three columns and then do a dense rank okay so dense rank the 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 function uh, syntax is you want to do over partition by okay because when you use any of the function right like dense rank rank row number you need to do a partition by okay so over here what we are what are we doing partition by job id right because for each job you need to find out the top applicant right so that's why you need to do a partition by job id okay so partition means group by kind of a group by is but you are partitioning the data by that job id okay and then what are you trying to do you are trying to find out with the highest salary right so what you will do is order by salary underscore offered and then descending this is very important because you are finding out that the highest salary if they ask you to find out lower salary you will just not put desc or you put asc right it is ascending okay but in this case it's descending then name is at a candidate rank okay from jobs underscore salary dim where offer received is equal to yes okay now let's see what happens okay if this is the case you see what it has done it has ordered the guys by a rank okay so if you see Ten, job number 10 we already saw everybody is offered 130 so rank for everybody is 1 okay for 20 same is the case but 30 if you see 150 is ranked as 1 130 is ranked as 2 right similarly for 40 326 is ranked as 1 then 2 right and then for 50 130 is 1 and these two have the same salary so again it is assigning it the rank of 2 right because both have the same salary but here they have not asked us top 2 they have, what they have asked us they have asked us only top the top most candidate so what we'll do is we'll consider only rank 1 so what you will do is you will go ahead and put this in sub query then you will say select job id applicant id salary offer so you get you get to see all of them right they just ask you uh, the the applicant and job so you can just put job id and applicant id also okay you can remove the salary offer but we are going to put it so that you know it validates our answer right and then what you are going to do you are going to close the bracket you are going to create that's why you want to say uh, a given alias that is a where a dot candidate rank is equal to 1 right so when you do that what happens it is giving you all the candidates that we are looking for right 20 has four candidates same salary 30 we have two candidates with same salary we saw that right and 40 we have only one candidate 50 we have only one candidate right so our answer is correct right so what did we learn in this we learned uh, the dense rank function we run over partition by we learned group by we learned sub query right so a lot of concepts are covered in this particular example now let's come to a, a, a very important thing which is filtering okay so they have written clearly that over offered the highest salary so let's say you forgot to put this filter okay then what happens you know uh, then what happens is the null comes into picture okay and if you see here what has just happened see For 130, when we put yes, this all 130 came as rank number one, right? Here coming as two. So what ha what is happening here is it is considering null as a highest value, okay? Uh, right? I mean, so if you put don't put yes, what happens is for 130 for th job number 30, null value is the highest value offered. right and for 30 and for job number 30 also and 40 also and 50 also it is doing the same thing which is not correct right it is not correct so that is why the yes condition yes is very important because what it did is when it did not find any value it for null it treated as the highest value okay in the order in the descending order okay so which is not right so that's why the filtering condition is very very important in this one okay it's it, they, they, basically they tricked you okay so in case in the interview if you miss this particular point right uh, if you miss writing this interview will definitely ask you and try and test you is this going to be a correct answer uh, the reason is because see over there you cannot run the live code like you not run the code like i am running here and see the very validated results 
so if you miss this interview will definitely ask you uh, you know uh, confuse you uh, is your uncle correct are you sure did you put everything uh, that is being asked in the requirement right uh, uh, you need to be confident you know uh, uh, you need to check when the interview is asking that definitely could happen that the two things that can happen one is either you uh, you know your answer is not correct and he's trying to help you right uh, that you know you need to look at your answer which in this case is is, is the scenario uh, or he can confuse you just to make sure that you are basically having confidence in yourself that you, the query that you wrote is correct right but that's why i'm saying when interview interviewer brings it up that you know you uh, is your answer correct just double check the question and requirement and see whether you have correct things put in your filter your select clause and things like that okay uh, because this was a tricky one right so when we put yes so in this case you should go and check the facts or check the interview requirement or i mean the question requirement and then uh, figure out that okay i missed the yes part right okay so when we put yes it is coming correctly right okay so yeah i hope you found this video useful if that is the case uh, i request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and please like my videos It gives me a lot of encouragement to make these videos i am at the video number 36 for amazon sql interview question and that is only possible because you all have supported me so thank you so much